And so I'm just like going at it. I'm gonna hop hey, in just, this game. Uh, just be thankful they didn't add an exclamation mark men command. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of well, uh Don't give uh, my mods any ideas. We'll, we'll go please on that don't. to another time. All okay. right, so we need we need an exclamation point men command. Nope, we're, right, we're commentating no, this no, match, no. actually. That's what I heard. That's what I heard Reflection say. <laughs> so so I heard we're going to have that. Now we're going to come. Let's do it. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I a, and just hold on, just real quick. I, I don't have an answer for Crucial. I don't talk to Crucial. I can, I can send him a message on Twitter and let you guys know. But I haven't talked to him in quite some time. I don't know. I know mm -hmm. he had a family and kids. I don't know. I really, I really have no idea what Crucial We have a very mirrored start, but I think mm -hmm. Trainer Chris actually is ahead on this one. I mean, these are very mirrored denied. decks. They're both running minor cycle decks. I think there's just gonna be a slight difference that Grubby's running Barb's and Mini Pekka, and Trainer Chris is running Valk and Mini Pekka. So we'll see where these cards take these players. Oh my god! I I, I think the Valk has the advantage. Obviously, I mean it shreds uh, the Barb's to pieces, and I think Barb's very rarely make it to the tower. Obviously, when they do, though, even a single Barb can shred the tower. We've seen that. <laughs> but I I think the Valk is a much better. Uh, option. Guys, guys, that that one backfired. Are right, taking a look at the chat? Wow! See, you deserve that one. <laughs> that one backfired on For me. For once, it's not I me getting not targeted. I like it. Oh, Oops. very nice. <laughs> Good job, mods. You are now. You are now. That one. You know, I think I'm gonna have to demod you, Sean, real quick. Just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that you thought know, maybe, crossing maybe my mind every day. hit him with a band too while we're at it. Band <laughs> you Sean. I like it. I like it. All right, hey, so let's, let's get back to this game. I think it's very hard. Deck wise for Grubby because with Barbarians going against a Valkyrie, a Princess, and an Ice Wizard, and a Zap, which we know he has, those Barbarians are almost useless. I, I gotta be honest, I don't like Barbarians anymore, and I don't think Barbarians should be used. In fact, I can upgrade mine to level 12 now, and I'm, I don't wow. think I'm going to because I, there's just so much now in the meta that counters Barbs. I mean, you see a Valk in almost every single deck. That at this point, barbs just aren't worth it to run. Definitely. I mean, they're very good against killing a giant as fast as you can. They're very good against killing a golem when they don't have poison. But all golem decks have poison. So what am I even saying? I I just I, I think there's cheaper option than barbarians. And guards are coming up. So. And, and guards are coming up once again. I I'm still pro stab gobs. Guards, Definitely. but hey, you know it is what it is. But. Dude got a nice little push here. Actually, the Valk, not uh, able to take all that out. Mini Pekka, though, will not survive either, so great stop on Trainer Christian's part. Uh, both towers relatively in here. Massive push. It's like a left lane tournament at this point. And but they just the keep thing pushing is, left lane. Trainer Chris has four legendaries and three pumps up. So I don't, I don't even want to know where this is going. Well, you know, as we know, those princesses, though, are very easily taken out. Mini Pekka is there. That's going to wow. take out uh, good value from the Mini Pekka so far. Just needs one hit on that uh, Valk. And wow. it does get it, in fact. Grubby did an Trading amazing off. job defending that with an electric He really did. Yes. Yeah, he did. Very well. He does have a princess to deal with, and he's actually going to slow, use a princess to slowly take care of it, which actually lets the enemy princess get three shots off, which is very dangerous. And as you see, the Grubby difference is. between these matches, these players, is that Trainer Chris is taking out the electric collectors, Grubby's ignoring them. Which is uh, it's not working in his favor, is it? I mean, Trainer Chris obviously is having that constant elixir advantage. Yeah. Elixir pumps are so big, especially in double elixir as well. I mean, you can constantly keep just wow, building up. But look at this mini Pekka! Mini Pekka makes it through. We'll get at least two hits to bring that tower down to 1390, giving Trainer Chris a little bit more options here. Definitely. He can opt to decide to keep pushing that left or go for the right at this point. I really aggressive you, uh, miner there to take out the princess. I think you jinxed it with the whole left lane push kind of thing. And then he fucking got right in. I don't think Trainer Chris meant to make that. I, I think he meant to maybe, you know, divert some attention from Grubby on that right side. But I don't think he actually thought that that Mini Pekka would reach that right side tower. Definitely. I wouldn't think so. At least a solo Mini Pekka. I, I mean, just how lucky can you be? Wow, and he actually has to use barbs on the right side. Now, Trainer Chris is using this advantage of having both towers low. He can now freak him out. Drop him and he's exactly. on the right side, he'll use barbs and he has no counter for the miner. And the miner will get 200 damage off each cycle. Absolutely. I mean, you know, and that's one thing that he wasn't planning, but now he obviously is going to take advantage over. I mean, who wouldn't, right? He's Definitely. got both towers low. 
Uh, and, and he can just basically split now Grubby. He can split uh, his defenses or his offensive pushes, rather, or defense, whichever way you want it. He can split that now between both towers. Exactly. And that's going to give Trainer Chris more of an option to get to that left side tower, which obviously he wants. It's down to 742. Exactly. And it really shows you how these professional players can adapt mid-game within seconds to beat their opponents. Really shows the Great. talent of these players. Well, only 39 seconds remain, so Trainer Chris, he's got to really get to work here, get something going. Both oh, players right. doing very well with stopping each other. These decks are so similar that this could go into a draw. I don't think the viewers would want to see that. <laughs> going to happen here. Miner is going to come in. It's going to manage to get to the tower. Of course, the mini Pekka though, will be able to clean it up. Definitely. 15 seconds remain. I think we're going to have a draw here. We're going to have to see another round. Wow. I did not expect this. And I don't think there are a lot of changed decks if you draw. So I think you might be stuck watching this for another uh, six minutes. And I think I mean, this is something we expected because they're both very mechanically strong players. As you saw, players, Grubby yeah. was wow. down three Elixir pumps and defended flawlessly. So it definitely shows shows a lot. This is semis, actually. Play again, same deck. Rip. I thought this was uh, for third place. No, this is the second semifinal match. Oh, who's going for third place then? Um, it's going to be Danny's in the finals, and Keaton's going to be the third place match. So what oh. I think we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, we're going to hop back in the game. We're actually going to. Do the finals and then go into the third place afterwards because this is going a lot longer than I intended. <laughs> so we're just going to do the finals after this and let the third one play out. I think so. Yes. Fair enough. And I do want to. I do want to shoutcast the finals professionally, and I want to upload it as my first YouTube post. I am making a YouTube, guys. So definitely excited about that. You guys need to check that out too. Once YouTube I make it, YouTube videos are life. Right. Videos are live. So if you guys ever miss me, you know, you can just hop onto YouTube. <laughs> I know, Reflections is going to do it daily, so. I'm going I'm to be doing a lot, a lot of stuff. Look at that. Getting some emotion out of there. Throwing that uh, throwing that cannon down really aggressively on the left-hand side. Uh, managed to, you know, take out quite a few stuff there, including the Ice Wizard. So protecting the Princess, I like that play. And there comes a the push. Uh, tower and the Valk's going to come down. Perfect place from actually... Almost perfect place. He almost got that princess. The princess actually princess made a is, lot of shots down. Yeah, princess got, and that's what I was talking about. Oh. You know, you can't leave a princess alone because it can come in and just totally shred a tower. Oh, definitely. So good stuff on his part. But trainer Chris, though, with that being said, is going to have advantage over Grubby. And the reason there was that advantage is because Grubby thought he was going for the next collector, and he right. didn't. And so he wasted a solid four seconds for that mini packet to walk through. Look at this, great defense here. Obviously Grubby knows his uh, his function of his deck, which obviously is to get that massive chip damage, right? So he keeps getting chip damage after chip damage, and he's doing a really good job on that part, protecting wow. that princess, which is obviously the most important this thing. This could be disastrous, part. no. Yeah, this is looking really, oh, look at no. that, wow. Gets the tower down to 134, wastes his minor. This is looking really bad at this point for Grubby. And Trainer Chris made one change, and it's changed this entire game. He stopped going for the pumps. He played the aggressive minor up front, and he's been doing so much better. So that was and, a and one some... minor, minor change. Yeah. He's made. Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh. The, I'll, I'll stop now. No, nah, it was good, man. <laughs> but, you know, it's true. But, I mean, that, that, is, that is a very valid point. You know, last game we saw Trainer Chris really heavy with the elixir pumps. Now he only has one out at a time, and it's made all the difference in the world because it's gave him that extra. Because even though you have a lot of pumps out, I and mean, you got, you're still committing five elixir during that point. Definitely. So because of that, you're not able to uh, really effectively push. So because he's limited it, and he's still getting that elixir pump down, and still getting that elixir advantage, he's still able to push forward now. And look at this. I mean, he's got two ice. This wizards, is ridiculous. Two princesses and a mini P.E.K.K.A. This is such a change a from last match. I didn't get to imagine using the same decks. 
Yeah. Well, very good stuff. I like that. And then uh, who, who's, who's asking that question? Who's asking who's talking? Um, no one's talking. It's actually just me in the chat by myself. Um, if you guys were wondering. You just have two voices? Three, actually. Oh, three voices. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Who would have known? Um, actually, guys, I'm a ghost. I have multi-personality disorder. I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be really cool, actually. I know, right? Um, uh, Shakisa. Sh Shaki, that is the most ghetto name. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Shakisa? Oh hey, no! Reflection. <laughs> now I, I, I'm Reflections commentator, and then of course we have uh, August here from Clash Wars, who's in the chat as well. Hey, what's and up, then, guys? Uh, there's someone else talking with us too. I kind of forgot his name, but he's here as well, uh, oh, no, doing some is. things with us and commentating as well. Killer crew. I believe Rain Town is his name. I think he's here. Oh, that guy's here too. He's yeah. not that kid streaming, I, is he? I don't. Wait, who? <laughs> right. So that was a very weird Valkyrie from oh, Trainer Chris, but I don't know. That was really weird because the 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 not the I can't talk. The Musketeer uh -huh. actually did not get hit by the tower while doing all the damage that she did, and now we see Grubby actually running a Valkyrie deck. So they're both running Valkyrie decks, except Grubby has the Musketeer instead. So it could be very interesting. August, what, what's your take on this match? What are you seeing? Hold up, I'm messing with the chat. I gotta pull it up again. For sure. So you know, this match has been great. <laughs> that's my that's my go-to thing. No, but uh, yeah, obviously that chain might make a huge difference here. Uh, you know, Grubby lost that last one to Trainer Crit, and this is a, a best of three. Definitely. Final. So uh, the final will be a best of five, right? Um, no, it's a best of three. Oh, so it's all best of three. Okay. I mean, it's a uh, best of twenty. Easy. Um. Who am yeah, I kidding? I, yeah, you can commentate by yourself. I'm going to go eat a bowl of cereal in that case. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you know, some made. Uh, you know, obviously, Grubby lost that last one. Changing it up a little bit. Uh, it's kind of curious to see how it's going to work out for him. Definitely. It's a very slow start. Trainer Chris, though, has been very aggressive with getting the damage in. And, wow, a hog. It's actually a trifecta deck coming out of Grubby. I did not see that coming. I definitely didn't either, you know. Uh, wow, I don't do that princess. Pretty dumb, oh, like, especially, I mean, because it's not going to tank up, so no reason to place that princess there. Obviously, uh, wasting elixir. I guess you just do not have Are you reading this, uh, Reflections? I think they thought that you were me. Clash oh, Wars, you really need to control yourself. <laughs> hey, come on. Oh. No, nah, I'm that staying out of this. Me. I'm staying out of this, guys. It was me, Reflections, who said that, Shakisa. And I'm... <laughs> but I already know. <laughs> Joking, I hope, Keisha. Alright, so that was actually a very good poison by Grubby. He got a lot out of it. But now, since he did spend Electro on that poison, can yep. he come back and defend this push? And actually, the Musketeer did a very good job doing that. Now we're heading into overtime with Trainer Chris just having a 500 damage lead. Very good, Musk um, Valkyrie. Yeah, and that, I mean, that's definitely what it should have been used before. You know, the Valk is a great counter to the Musketeer, and the Musketeer is so deadly. Hog coming through, Ooh. and look at this. Great redirect of that Hog. And Grubby now, of course, this Hog is going to be shut down. Time. Great stuff on his part. Uh, Valk coming in. Uh, Mini Pekka as well. Miner. Great use of Zap there, so that's going to keep the Miner up for a little bit longer to get some uh, chip damage oh, there. And I Ice is dancing. Yeah, I saw that. Tripping out, it's so funny when it does that. Well, I, I just, I don't know what makes, oh, I guess. It keeps running out of range very slightly, and it thinks it can attack, and then it can't. And it just happens over right. and over again. And that's a pretty high-value poison again. But that's, poison's really the only damage that Grubby's getting down. And Trainer Chris is getting a lot more damage with the Miner. So, I think that's going to well, be... Too what kind of contributes to this game. Oh, but look at this push, though, coming in. The Hog managed to make it through to Mini oh. Pekka doing damage, but great stuff! Showing August, obviously, Pekka was really good for uh, destroying, you know, uh, a very versatile card, really proving it right there. Definitely, but this is actually a very good push coming in from Chris. I can actually see him winning off this push. I don't know. Look at this, though. Grubby answers back, poison down, gets a hit off. 
904. Look, uh, even even less now as the poison wow. is going to continue to do great stuff coming in. Now Musketeer does so much damage. So much. If it stands so behind much where the tower can't hit it, just as a fire yeah. at that mini Pekka, and that mini Pekka has nothing compared to a Musketeer's damage. I'm just Grubby has just been throwing hog after hog after right. hog. I mean, how is he getting the? I mean, just how is he cycling and through then so quickly? Chris can't do anything to attack because his stuff's getting shredded by the poison musketeer. It's just like crazy. Miner coming in. It's getting very risky here for Grubby. Grubby needs a hog to pass through here. I don't know. I think Chris. Chris has an opening right now. He's just gotta take it. 50 seconds left. I don't want to see another drug. Where's guys. the miner? There's the miner. Miner comes in. Oh, oh no. but the cannon. Oh, the though, cannon. Look at that. You don't see that off. That reaction time, though. Really good reaction time. I and think he played the cannon the before the miner ended up getting to the tower. Perfect. And then that's exactly how it should be. Exactly. Good stuff. Hawk coming through. Wow. Very Close good stop. Very good stop. Back and look at these guys just back and forth. Only 30 seconds oh, remains. The miner, miner really miner. Miner. through. Oh, that, that might be that's game. It. He that's just needs to He doesn't have anything. Wow, GG Trainer it. Chris, wow. and he takes down our well champion Grubby out. Grubby still has a chance at third place, but now we get to head to the finals. Trainer Chris wow. versus Danny20. A new name, two new names in our tournaments. So let's go get it.